Hello, Leo. Leo Singles, welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. This video is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. <clears throat> so check your other signs for more clarity if you need it. And keep in mind, this is a general reading, so everything may not resonate with everyone in detail. So let's go ahead and take a look. What's going on with Leo Singles for the first week of February 2018? Leo. Sun on rising and Venus signs. Okay, Leo. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Saying Pisces there. Okay, Leo. It looks like you're waiting. You've been waiting. You've been playing the waiting game for quite some time. You're waiting to see if something that you've invested in has uh, bears fruit. You had some type of conflict or dealing, you were dealing with some type of conflictual person in the past. Someone that brought a lot of conflict and confrontation. And you're waiting for happier days. Okay, some of you are definitely dealing with the Sagittarius. We have the Temperance card. You're trying to find balance or you're being patient. There's patient rather. And there's also a need for healing. Uh, this could be someone at a distance from you. Some of you are tired of being single and you're thinking about someone, but you're in limbo with that person um, and you haven't moved on from them. And you're wondering if the two of you can ever have this situation back. I'm seeing Leo, your own energy and Sagittarius so far. But yeah, you're in limbo. You're, you're waiting. You're waiting to hear from them or waiting to... to your final decision, wanting to know where you stand in the relationship. Okay, so it's been a while since you've heard from, from this person, Leo. And you're thinking about a new beginning. You're hoping either to begin afresh with this person or you're thinking about moving on because you're tired of waiting. You haven't heard from this person. Things are just dragging on and yeah, you're tired of like the more time goes by, the more heartbroken you feel, the more dismayed you feel and the, the, the more discouraged you begin to feel. But deep down inside, you're still holding on to this person or this could have been someone that was controlling in the past. And here it is again. That was your overall energy. Seven of Pentacles. I'm sorry I didn't show it to you. But yeah, you're waiting. You're either waiting for something better, something or someone better, or you are waiting for this person. You're waiting to hear from them. You might be thinking about reaching out and going to visit them. This person could live overseas or they could live somewhere near water. There's paranoia. Three of Cups. There could be a third party situation. There could be friends getting in the way, meddlesome family members. But this also speaks of reunion. So you may have a reunion on the horizon and you're missing this soulmate connection. But you're feeling like there's no way possible for, you kind of given up on there being a reunion, but in the back of your mind, you're still hoping. There's definitely someone who's procrastinating reaching out to you, Leo. They don't know where they stand. They don't know if you're going to hear them out or entertain them at all. So they're kind of waiting in the wings. This was a situation where you felt like you had to stand your ground. Where you had to stand up for yourself, defend yourself. Someone could be feeling defensive, taking the defensive stance on a situation. Because like I said, there was some type of conflict and maybe someone felt like they had to defend their position, defend their situation. And then the other one could just be sitting there not doing anything about it, not trying to. I'm getting procrastination with this. I believe I got this with Virgo as well. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. This is like someone procrastinating, afraid, paranoid to make a decision uh, for fear of making the wrong one because Leo, this person could be thinking of reaching out to you, but 
they fear that you'll turn them down and that you'll say, no, there's no opportunity here for a reconciliation. But deep down inside, Leo, either you or this person wants to reunite. There's definitely a need on both sides. Both of you definitely want to resolve any petty arguments, petty bickering that you had. It's like you want to lay aside your differences. But it's like you stand beside what you're saying. You're like, what I did and what I said was right, but I don't want to fight anymore. This argument could be why the two of you are no longer on speaking terms. But I'm seeing that seasons are changing. You have the moon card. There could have been some secrets. Some manipulation, uh, some doubts, definitely someone. There's definitely trust issues, but I'm saying that there's a cycle concluding. Something is ending, possibly with, a, with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Maybe the mother or father of someone's children who could also be a Pisces. Something's ending. And that could have been what you were waiting for. Because I'm feeling like you were waiting patiently for something, for someone. And it's like you've started to give up. You're, you're, you're reasoning to yourself that you no longer, you're not thinking about, you're not worried about this situ situation anymore. You're thinking about moving on to something new. But yeah, but still you're having those mixed emotions where you're thinking about this person from the past. Yeah, you're contemplating letting go and releasing this person in favor of someone new because you're tired of waiting. You could have been dealing with someone that felt or that could have coerced you into a relationship or trapped you in by for financial gain or trapped you with a baby. Because the Queen of Pentacles, she kind of gives off a motherly feel to me, as well as the Empress. But yeah, there was definitely some infidelity in this relationship. Someone was not being honest. And you know what? This hurt you to the core. And you're feeling the void of this person, and you're thinking about them. You want to reach out. But you're feeling like they were the ones that wronged you, so you're feeling like they should reach out to you. I'm saying have faith for some of you Leos. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. So everything may differ, including the outcome in a situation. The outcome may not be the same for everyone. But I'm saying have faith. A change is coming. Whatever happened, it was like the last straw for you. It's like you couldn't take any more and it was time for you to end this relationship. Or that could be what they're going through right now. They are going through some type of a transition emotionally. They're leaving something behind. Maybe perhaps they're in a relationship currently because you, this is a three-party situation. You're on the single, si single side of the third-party situation. And on the coupled side of the situation, someone else could be saying, this is the last straw. I can't take it anymore. I'm leaving. So... I'm feeling like you may hear from this person very soon. Let's see. Excuse me. Yeah, somebody's thinking of you. It says a loving thought. Serendipity. Sorry for the glare. Okay, that doesn't make it any better. All right, so you have someone that's thinking of you. And this could be vice versa, too. It could even be mutual between the two of you. So the two of you are apart. Okay, here we go. Eternal love, happiness, fulfillment. So there's still love. You're feeling like love is lost here, but uh, I'm not saying that it is. Appreciation, spiritual and emotional reconnection. Now this is your soulmate. You could feel like you're connected to this person spiritually. I'm seeing a reconnection take place here. Give me one quick second. Oh, and what fell upright was healing. It says reconnecting with your true nature. And that's what I'm getting here with temperance. There's definitely a need for healing. And that's this person's 
purpose and coming back to your life, clearing away obstacles, protection and guidance. There's some type of obstacle that's being cleared out of the way, being eclipsed out of the way with the moon. Did have a, a, um, a lunar eclipse on the 31st. So you may finally see some forward momentum. Something is definitely coming to an end, something that you've been waiting for because you do have new love on the horizon. For some of you, this is brand new love. You're letting go of the old, welcoming in the new. For others of you, you are having someone from the past returning from your life, wanting a reunion after they ended a situation that became very stressful and overbearing. Okay, because they could have been trapped, whether this was financial entrapment, like I mentioned, or this was um, trapped because someone had children and they weren't. Because they had children with someone and they weren't sure how to free themselves of the situation because they had to consider their children or finances. Maybe they were financially bound to someone else, stuck to a situation because of finances and they couldn't leave. They weren't happy without you. They were grieving alongside you. This person wanted to reach out to you, but it was like they, they felt like they couldn't. They felt like they were stuck. Scorpio, for some of you, something is definitely ending. There's endings on the horizon. Just like I said, someone, something's being eclipsed out. There's a new phase, a new cycle. Because someone is at their, the end of their rope. They're at their wit's end. They can't take it anymore. They've been through the ringer. And they could fear that there's no second chance here. Or they feel like it's not the right judgment call to reach out to you. Their fears could be getting the worst of them, the worst of them with the devil card. There was definitely temptation as well with the with the devil card. And someone's mind is playing tricks on them also with the devil card. For some of you, you're dealing with a Capricorn. But you have someone that wants to come out from being left out in the cold. And this person is definitely thinking of reconciliation and reuniting with you. Because this is a soulmate connection that the two of you share. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, visualizations, and affirmations help bring you together. So this is your soulmate. They do miss you. It's not easy for them. You know, they're just as devastated emotionally as you are being apart. They're not happy being apart from you. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get rid of the glare, but it's just not working. Okay, they're not happy being without you. And they want this reunion just as much as you probably do. So it's going to be about forgiving and learning and leaving behind the past. Now it says trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith because divine timing is at play in this situation. worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So this situation is calling for you to have faith. So there may be a little bit more of a wait before you hear from this person again. Or maybe this person is trying to, to tie up loose ends, tie up loose ends with their family, you know, because they're not, they're in a situation they're not happy in their situation, but they're having to tie up loose ends in order to start this new phase with you. So they may need a little bit more time, but I'm saying that someone could possibly be traveling to you, Leo. Again, this could be overseas. This could be someone at a distance from you. But this person, everything is coming full circle. 
because this was about letting go, you letting go, and now they are letting go. They're retreating. They're backing down from a marriage or some type of maybe common law situation, someone that they have children with, in order to pick up this healing with you. They want a reunion and they want something new. They're not happy where they are. So I'm definitely seeing that some of you may have children with this person. This is someone finally coming forward to make the effort. Yeah, there's someone returning to your life. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the mother of your children, Queen of Cups. Someone that finally admits their love for you. But this person could have been a bit icy and distant you know, in the past, Queen of Swords, maybe they just didn't want to admit their feelings, so they were trying to cover it up by giving you this illusion that they didn't love you and that they didn't care. We have recovery, someone coming back from the past to recover this relationship with a devil card. This could be addictions and someone is seeking recovery from drugs or alcohol or a codependent relationship an abusive relationship even. There's definitely a need for trust here because of divine timing. Let go. This is someone hoping that you will let go of the past because they want to come back together with you to have this reunion. You could, some of you, you could be meeting someone brand new at a party or you could, your friends could be fixing you up. Maybe you meet someone new at a gathering for your children's school. But I'm saying that someone is hoping that you will let go of the past. Oops, wrong card. That you will let go of past burdens, things that became burdensome in this relationship. Uh, let go of control issues, wanting to be in control of everything. You see how he's carrying that around like he's the boss? Some of you... We're dealing with a controlling person and they want you to let go. The outcome is success. Because you're getting a yes. And at the bottom of the deck, helpful people. Because you don't have to do everything by yourself. Ask for help. Okay, God is putting helpful people in your path. Yeah, because maybe you're needing help financially with your children. You might be struggling financially. But I'm saying that help is on the way. And for some of you, you're ending a career that could have been extremely stressful. Or you were taking on a full load or there was no one to help you in your career. Maybe you're trying to start a new business. You're ending um, a career to move on to something else, but you're not sure what, what direction you want to take this, so you're taking some time out to think about it. But by the same token, you're still afraid, but you know that this is the right thing to do for you and your family. But you've been procrastinating. And maybe there was some type of partnership that was supposed to come in business-wise or financially. And you may hear news from this person, from this partnership. You may not have heard back and you were waiting for news about a new job, a new opportunity. And finances can be a bit tight right now and you're just waiting. Maybe there were travel plans that were planned and they were delayed because you hadn't heard back. And now you're in limbo. But I'm seeing that you're about, in your career, you're about to enter a new phase. You have the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to be doing well for yourself financially. Things are going to balance out. They're going to level out. And there will be happier days. So you could have had some type of drama on the job. I'm seeing that that could have been a reason why you decided to leave. Because you were tired of the games that you were dealing with at the job. So let's see. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Leo? Leo single, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Leo? The 
victory. It says your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. See, you're waiting. You're playing the waiting game, but there's victory in the outcome. And at the bottom of the deck, this is talking about listening to your intuition. It says clairvoyance. I'm so sorry for the glare. Maybe that's a little bit better. Now it says, I'm helping you with your spiritual sight. I'm helping you. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken so you can fully see clair heavenly love, clairvoyance. Listen to that inner voice. Listen to your intuition. Your intuition is guiding you and sending you in the right direction. So there's no need to worry. All right. There's a need for healing in your life. And this is someone coming back from the past to heal old, old wounds, old scars. All right. And finally, the, for the two of you to have this reconnection and appreciation for one another and to have this happiness, harmony and fulfillment that you didn't have in the past. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Leo. Hope this helped. Now, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. You can also reach out to me for a reading on the Instant Go app. And the direct profile to both of those is in the description box. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.